All right, we're back at it again. And we're gonna go ahead and get these guys out of here. Again, I had no idea that they were just gonna show up like this. Otherwise, I would have prepared better. All right. No. Should have hit him, but it worked out. Looks like the coast. Man, is that was crazy. Let's not get careless. We're still a ways off, aren't we? Not too far now. All right. a cluster and then over here we have two chests there should be something up here but let me see what's the best way to go about this okay so I think what I'm going to do is I'll probably jump, if I can, onto this. Then use that to give me a bit of a boost here. And then we can use that second kick up. Well, I thought I could do it. This one's a bit harder. Reason being, we don't have leap. There we go. So it was a little bit questionable as to how easy it would be. Well, sorry, we have Leap, we don't have Soar. That's the one I meant to say. So without Soar, we have a very strong limit to um, our jumping ability still in place. Oh, okay. That's over there. So we're not even going to waste time trying to get there. Okay. So we've done Blast Slice level 1. That's awesome. We're slowly getting these leveled up a bit. So our next step is to try and do Blast Slice level three, I guess. And this one is done now, so let's head in this direction. What other gems do you have on your sleeve? So, use of zip at the right time keeps us from crashing into the ground. So that's when zip can really come in handy is in moments like those. And we can spin ourselves here. And then flip to another location. Then zoom up here so that we can land and get more of a... Uh, this mana. Alright, you check the area. Trying to see what enemies are around. Almost there. Roger okay. that. I don't see anything. So I guess I'll go ahead and head down. Alright, this will be a new fast travel point. And this will tell us what's outside and around this area. So we already knew about one, looks like nothing else really, and we now have that marker over there. 
And of course, again, we're already headed to one. So, let's go. So these are actually, are those the vultures or are those the crows? Okay. Gotcha. So we might as well just go ahead and start it off. Oh, there we go. Right, we're still heading to one, so we're gonna keep working our way forward. And of course, picking up whatever mana trails we see. All yep. right. Oh, damn. Yep. Do something. certain radius. There we go. The monsters here, huh? Were you hoping for a little exercise? <laughs> You really don't know me. Looks like there's some chests not too far off in that direction. There's actually a bunch of stuff around here. Uh -huh. So there was this chest that those monsters were really guarding. Oh, another feather. Awesome. Now let's continue in this direction. I sense a hostile presence. Be on your guard. Yeah, yeah. There's a Stay chest frosty. over that way. We can go there, but to be honest, again, I'm not really trying to make my whole thing chess. So let's go in here. There's something nearby. Should we take so a look? There are enemies. Sure, as long as it's something good. We'll slowly investigate this area. Let's see if we can get this done. Uh, oh, there we go. Okay. No enemies in here. Oh, okay, it is actually in the building. All right, wild must, we have that. Let's see what that is, grain stone. Second. That tells you how fast she is. Oh, look. They all bust out and decide to pick a fight. Bullseye.
Okay, so we have No way. All right. She's the hero who saved the village? Why are you so surprised? No offense, but she does not seem like the type. Oh, mana trail. Huh. All right. So let me not get too far off track. We're here right now. We just finished that area. Again, we're not doing every chest. Let's go ahead and head to Ward 5. Let's do burst shot. We can set them up with tendril as well. Heck, we can even set them up with a well-timed prime right here. This looks like a big one. Ah! Oh, yeah! Again, enemy placement for the win. Seems we're free of any immediate danger. Here's hoping it stays that way. Since we are right here, I'll take that. Far now, getting closer. All right, let's keep heading this way. I guess. Bad guys nearby. Uh, Got it in one. It's better for me to just go ahead and focus on the how to yeah. damage them faster part. Yeah. I don't know how we managed to attract only that one's attention without getting the rest of its siblings, but I'm not going to complain either. 
Now, interestingly enough, there's probably items on that bridge. I just don't really feel like going through the trouble of probably going to salvage them. I'm probably going to go ahead, take this fine stone, and keep on heading to the refuge. At least until he shows up, anyway. That's it. Yup. Oh. oh. Hey. Oh. I just realized. Oh wait, did we do that oh. one already? I think we did actually, never mind. Yeah, we did do that last slice challenge. So the next ones that we need to do are horde related really, so that's a completely different ask. You've been pining for something. Oh look, Shore Violet. That's rare. Diurnite. We'll take the crag grass. I mean, hey, it is what it is. the door she was greeted by the most miraculous sight somewhere to lie the fuck down how about so, you do there's the nothing work really change? here except Not for we can't get another um we can pick up another spellcraft challenge really quickly so we'll go ahead and load up a third one since i always like to have them pretty much full if i can This one is actually a really easy one to do. Let's try practicing this technique. And honestly, so is the level three version as well. Thinking of making something. All right, nothing else to craft here. And I don't think yeah, I only have one shore violet. Not really a point in even investing any energy there. I'm gonna go ahead and use the remaining amount of ring stone to get us into see another item. So if I want, I can use beam stone here to then increase this cloak some more. I'm not going to though. It's fine. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna leave the rest of these where they are for now. And yep, we're going to go ahead and end it here and uh, we'll pick up in the next one and see how if we can get some more of these spellcraft challenges done and what we're going to do. If I look at these, we're just going to slowly work our way all the way up to the mulberry fount. So that'll be these. Um, yeah, all of these on deck. We won't worry about number four over here for now because that's in a totally different direction and it's going to take us a very long time, I think, before we have eligibility to head that way. Actually, never mind. We can head that way from here. We can detour in this direction. So we can go get rushed soon as well. Um, yeah. Yeah, well, we'll work on that after we get this next one. So for now, these will be the. We'll head this direction, grab this mulberry fount point, and then we'll start heading in this direction and winding our way through uh, over here to the rosewood fount. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and stop it here. Uh, thanks for watching, War on Gaming. Uh, this is our playthrough. I, heck, at this point, we're probably 
somewhere in part 15 at the point the way this is going but um we'll see when we when i label it but anyway thanks again and catch y'all in the next one peace